Hello everyone, my name is Case Ford, welding instructor here at Tulsa Welding School, and today we're going to be doing some flux core overhead welding on a beveled plate. Now, I've made some adjustments to my machine. I'm running it at 25 volts because flux core with the overhead, you want to run it hot. That way it reduces the amount of spatter. That way you don't, you know, get showered in ditty balls and things of that sort. I also have my wire feeder here at 300 wire, wire feed speed. So, we're going to jump right into it now. With the overhead, you got to be mindful about getting as comfortable as possible. ABC, always be comfortable. It's the most important thing. Now, you could come across this out in the field, like in the shipyards, for instance, where I worked at most of my time. Um, came across a lot of overhead welding. Good. All right, here we go. You want to take your time and go especially slow on that root pass. That way you ensure you got good, proper root penetration. Alright, so we're going to weld along the toe here, going to bring it right to us like we did in our root pass and we're going to keep it moving. Now you want to stay away from the edge of your bevel. That's your guideline. Keep that beveled edge. All right, so we're going to weld along the toe of our previous weld. That way we get 50-50 overlap. Going to keep it moving and keep it moving.
All right, it's important to keep an eye on your fill pass and use your judgment as you're welding. Because if you cap it too early, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look just like a fill pass and it'll get visually rejected. So you want to be mindful of that. All right, so we're going to weld along the toe here, keeping it in the bevel. And we're going to keep it moving. All right, here we go. just got done cooling off my plate you want to be mindful of how hot that plate gets especially with overhead because the heat will actually push away your shielding gas and cause little worm tracks in it so I went and cooled it off got the tap back up now we're ready to rock and roll again all right here we go first cap pass sizzling. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, now we're going to weld along the toe of our previous pass. making sure we got that 50-50 overlap. All right, now we're gonna run our final cat pass and that'll be it. Here we go. All right guys, well, that was our 4G overhead flux core with a backing strip, came out pretty good. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Thank you for watching our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. If you would like to get some more tips and tricks and become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, then click on our link. Thank you and we'll see you next time.